metal wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code, pink code, Signs can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Signs can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code. Maybe hide and seek? We've played it a million times. There's nowhere new left to hide on this ship. Watching cartoons? That could be fun. We've seen every cartoon in the ship's data banks a bunch oh. of times already. Checkers, then? I'm really tired of checkers. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Well, there is one game, but you might find it too extreme. Is that right? I probably shouldn't have mentioned it at all. Forget it. Tell me, come on, what is this extreme game? A staring contest. <laughs> you mean too extreme for you because I'm the staring master. Care to prove it? Love to. Prepare to be outstared. Ready? Ready? Get, Get set, set. Stare! Hmm. Your eyelids are getting heavier. You want to shut them and have a nice snooze. Not falling for it. That is like the oldest trick in the book. All right, how about this? <laughs> That's kid stuff. Hmm. It's always a pleasure to find a worthy opponent and an even bigger pleasure to wipe the floor with them. How are you gonna wipe the floor with me when I've already practically got you beat, Bunny? We'll see about that. <laughs> there you are. Hurry, put on your space suits. We just landed on a wonderful planet. Goodness, this certainly is an amazingly unique planet. Just look at what's over there. Awesome. <laughs> Sweet sauerkraut. Would you just look at that? Wow, can that be real? Yes, it can, my dear flightless feathered friend. A hundred percent quite undeniably real. Why'd this amazing stuff wait to come along when we couldn't take a look? Oh, you want to look at it? Go on. On second thought, I'm over impossibly wondrous other worlds. Observe, my dear friends, just drink it in. Glorious natural phenomena such as these happen but once in a thousand years. You will never have the chance to see this again. Just look how the light sparkles, glows, and dances when it shines through these crystals. It's just it's so just beautiful. Incredible. Tell me, are these light beings dangerous for us at all? They're harmless if you're as far away from them as us, so this light is perfectly safe. What do you mean, this light? Does that mean there are other kinds of light that are dangerous? There is, actually. But normal light is emitted by atoms and is harmless to us. Atoms emit light when they receive energy from being heated or from colliding with other atoms. When this happens, the atom's electrons receive energy and jump to a higher orbit, farther away from the atom's nucleus. But the electron cannot sustain a higher orbit indefinitely. So when it falls back to its original orbit, it releases the energy in a pulse of light called a photon. Now, normally, an atom's electron exchange orbits at different times and to different degrees. And because of this, the electrons release photons in all different directions. This is called spontaneous emission and causes radiation that is less harmful. 
A single photon is too weak to cause any damage, so even though there are lots of photons being emitted, because they're spread out, they're practically harmless. What if we made a beam by gathering photons? Excellent question. During a war in ancient Greece, the great scientist Archimedes gave mirrors to the warriors and ordered them to focus sunlight on enemy ships. The beams of sunlight are said to have set the ships ablaze. Light, huh? Sounds like a great way to make this game more interesting. You probably won't burst into flames. Crash, that's not fair. I didn't make the sunshine. Fine, then. I believe on! Our spacesuits are going to run out of power very soon! We need to skedaddle back toward the spaceship, all right? It sure isn't easy to leave something this beautiful. Hmm? <laughs> uh, be careful there, my young friends! Hear that? We need to be careful! <laughs> <laughs> we are definitely going to fall. Do you forfeit then? Not a chance. Hang on, I'll save you or not. Phew, that was not exactly a soft landing. Are you two all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Never been better. <gasps> Phenomenal! It's even more beautiful down here than on the surface. It's absolutely true, friends. Without exaggeration, this planet's the loveliest thing I've ever seen. Holy carrots. Don't let him distract you. Hmm. But I'm not detecting any exits. It seems rather doubtful. We can get out of here without any help. Mayday! Mayday! We're trapped down here! Do you copy? Hello, someone? Um, um, can anybody hear me? We need help! Anybody? We have a problem. Our signal can't get through all the crystal. We'll have to smash through the crystals then, right? Chico, look around and find a way to do that. Smashing stuff's your thing. You look. I don't need to look at anything. All we need to use is the method of... What was that name? Archimedes will burn through them with sunshine. Oh, good thinking, but Archimedes' method won't help us here, unfortunately. There just isn't enough light. Plus, we happen to be dealing with stone instead of wood. Can you imagine how much power a beam would have to have to break through these walls? But isn't there a way to make the beam stronger? Make it stronger? Well, of course there is! I can't believe I didn't think of it before, silly moose! While atoms eject photons in different directions, during spontaneous emission, radiation is weak. But if photons of the same color are made to fly all in a single direction, the radiation is greater. So all we have to do is cause the same colored electrons to jump simultaneously to the same orbit. Well, then all we need to do is tame these wild protons. Giddy up! Luckily, we don't need to tame anybody. Scientists have discovered that the electrons of certain crystal atoms will remain on a single higher orbit for longer periods of time before dropping back to their lower orbits. But photons are still flying in different directions. To make the photons coalesce, we have to direct a beam of light on the crystal. This beam of light has to match the color that is radiated by the electrons in it. The photons from this beam will draw photons from the crystal along with them, and the combination will create a powerful beam of light. We have created a laser beam, or light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. And when we have radiants that work in accordance with these principles, they're known as lasers. Sweet, right? If we had a big laser gun, we could pew-pew our way out of here. But where could we find a laser gun? We have everything we need to make one right here with us. 
Now I've transferred some of the power from my spacesuit directly into the crystal. Now we project some light into it, which will result in induced radiation. Better close your eyes. It's about to get quite bright in here. Shall we close our eyes? You first. Ready? Just stop this nonsense. This is serious here. Go ahead and shut your eyes first. Get set. You think you're so clever. I don't know what you mean. Well, here goes nothing. Hmm. Fire! <laughs> <laughs> A few more days of my eye drops, and your peepers will be just fine. Which one of us won the stare off? Not sure. We have to find a way to settle this. Got something in mind? Funky dance off? You're on. My dear injured young friends, to try and make your recovery process a bit more interesting, Pins built you a delightful robotic little buddy. Yeah, yeah. It's state of the art and it's voice command activated. He can perform pretty much any task you give him. Robot, forward. Baby step. Robot, stop. Turn. Dance like no one's watching. Stop. He's remarkably fun to play with. You can even program him with new abilities and commands. I hope this will help with your boredom problem. May I give him a try? Robot, start jumping. Oh, hey, robot, run my trotters. Ooh. <laughs> robot, robot fights, fights baby. baby. While lasers have been weaponized, they actually have a number of excellent everyday applications. Doctors can use lasers in place of scalpels for surgery. Lasers scan barcodes when we shop. They entertain us in laser shows, and they are even used for measuring long distances in astronomy. Lasers have improved life in so many ways, their discovery had to be honored with the Nobel Prize. In 1964, two Russian scientists, Nikolai Basov and Alexander Prokhorov, and American scientist Charles Townes received the Nobel Prize in physics for research that led to the construction of the laser.